Hey, what's happening? Get one, Sir James, coming at you guys with another video. In today's video, I'm here to show you guys one of the brand new armor sets for the Destiny 2 expansion. If you guys were not aware, the first expansion for Destiny 2 is now available on all platforms. For me, I'm still currently playing through the storyline, so I'm going to basically hold on to my opinions on it. But this armor set right here is known as the Omega Mechanos, hopefully I pronounced that correctly. And this is an armor set that you can get from Tess Everest. And because, of course, it's a new expansion, there's going to be a lot of new things that you're going to have to kind of find out for yourself. But again, this is where it's located. And of course, each week of, you'll be able to purchase individual pieces using the Bright Dust as you were previously. And this is what the new Ingram packages look like, the Illuminated Ingram. If you preview them, of course, you'll be able to see all the different things that you'll be able to get from the different exotics. And of course, the armor set, and there's an individual style for each of the different classes. So depending on what you are, you're going to have your own individual look. In this case, I have a hunter, so this is what the hunter will look like. So before I show you guys a close-up, let's go ahead and back out over here. And head it back up here to the tower. Alright, so here is what the individual pieces look like, starting off with the helmet here. Overall, pretty cool, and of course, uh, you have your different shooter options, which I'll show you guys in just a moment. And these are your two options here for resilience or health recovery. The next one on the bottom is, of course, the gauntlets. Now, do keep in mind that when these drop, these will drop at a level 10 defense, which in this case, you would have to combine it with one of your higher armor sets to uh, make it basically a lot higher than what it is. So that's how you do it. You just got to infuse your gear, just like you've been doing it. And of course, here is the chest piece. Going over the boots, which you could currently get with Bright Dust right now. And of course, last but not least, is the cloak. Overall, the cloak looks pretty neat. And again, not too many options here. So let's go ahead and take a look at how this armor set looks like, featuring just the new shaders. Uh, now you can tell if it's a new shader because there's a mark right here on the very corner. So here, let's see, how many shaders do I have here? I have one, two, three, four, five. I have five of the new ones. So let's go ahead and check out just the new ones. So here is the first one. Which I think it's just uh, the same color as it already is. Uh, the next one over will be the Mercury Vex Chrome. Which basically kind of resembles the Vex gear from uh, Destiny 1. See, next up we have the one on the very top here, the Descendant Vex Chrome. Basically, it just makes it all green. And the last two, we have the Desert of Gold. which is more orange to me. And of course, finally, the metallic sunrise. This one should be cool. And overall it does, gives up that nice chrome effect. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you guys think of this new armor set for the Hunter class? Let me know in the comment section down below. Overall, I really like this look and the design of it. I'm just looking forward to seeing what else this expansion has to offer. And of course, what type of new exotics we'll be able to find. But until then, I am Sir James from GamerFusion.com, where we empower your gaming.